Hello and welcome to the Newry Showgrounds for the final game on an action-packed Saturday in the Sports Direct Premiership. The champions, Larne, make the trip here knowing they cannot afford to lose any more ground on the leading pack. Whilst Newry City have endured a very difficult time at this ground, it's almost a year since their last victory here. I caught up with both managers before the game. Yeah, well, listen, it's, it's a hugely difficult task, first and foremost, but then, um, as you mentioned here, at, at home, in an evening kickoff, it, it feels like it, there's a bit of a buzz about it. And Five three o'clock kickoffs took place earlier today. Let's run through the results in the Sports Direct Premiership. Balamini United won. Dungannon Swifts won. Carrick Rangers won. Glenavon three, a huge result for Glenavon. A first win under Stephen O'Donnell. Cliftonville came from a goal down against Coleraine to win 2-1. In the feature match of the day, it was a draw, one apiece between Crusaders and Glentorn. And Linfield scored four times in the second half as they defeated Loch Gaul five goals to one. So in terms of the table, that means that Linfield still lead the way. 37 points for David Healy's side. You have to go back to... Cliftonville on 29 and Crusaders on 28. The top four completed by Larne on 26. They will hope to narrow that gap over the next couple of hours. And it is oh so tight at the bottom of the table. Just one point now separates the bottom four sides. Glenavon leapfrogging Yuri, who go into the bottom two after the three o'clock kickoffs. Again, they will hope that will change over the next 90 minutes or so. Alongside me on co-commentary today, a legend of the Irish League, former Glentoran defender Colin Nixon. And Colin, when you see those results and you, you look at the context of the league, Linfield are just edging further and further ahead, aren't they? Yes, they are, Thomas. And uh, as you rightly say, it was a great result from the day. 5-1 at home to Lock Gaul. Uh, it actually puts them 11 points from Lauren tonight and uh, it's a massive game for Lauren. They can't afford to slip up or lose any more ground and also it's, a, it's as much a massive game as you mentioned earlier about how tight the bottom is. It's, a mass, it's become a massive game from Newry because they have accidentally slipped into the bottom too. Let's look at the two team lineups. Newry City's longest serving player Darren King makes his first start in a month as does Andrew Martin at the back. The big positive, though, from their lineup is a first start in six and a half months for John McGovern, who's back after a serious injury. Lorcan Ford makes his 50th appearance for the club. Lauren stick with the same side that finished the game against Carrick Rangers in that victory. Orozco makes his first start since a 2-0 victory over Linfield last month. Sloan continues to impress in midfield. Miller is back. Andy Ryan is, along, is still out, so it's Lee Bonus alongside Paul O'Neill. There are the two captains alongside the match referee, Evan Boyce. Against the top six has been, has been virtually non-existent. I don't think they've took too many points off of that. So if you put that into the mix, it's a really difficult fixture for them tonight, but some would argue it's a free hit for them. They might as well go, give it a go. Uh, they have a difficult run coming up too. They play two top teams next in um, Linfield and Cliftonville as well, bizarrely. Just a coincidence uh, the football throws up at times. So, again, it's, it's a really big game for them. So, let's hope for a great match. How much? It's goalless at the break. Neither side have created too much. Neither Ferguson nor Maguire has had a real save to make. Dylan Sloan and his teammates have had the bulk of possession, but Newry City have grown as a half has continued, and it has been 45 minutes frustration for Keen Bulger and Lauren so far. A couple of moments of magic from Lork and Ford have lit up the, the game, but so far it is scoreless and a match with very few goal scoring chances. Half time here at the showgrounds is Newry City nil, Larne nil. When you step out.
So nil nil in our live iPlayer game this evening. But seeing as we're in Uri, we thought it would be appropriate to take a walk down memory lane. One of the city's famous sons returned here in 1976. The Tottenham Hotspur and Northern Ireland goalkeeper Pat Jennings. Let's see how it all unfolded. A memorable night for Lauren as they claimed their first senior trophy back in 1987. Now, in 2023, let's look at some of today's goals. Five three o'clock fixtures taking place. Hopefully, we'll be able to bring some of them to you right now. None so far at the showgrounds. Let's start with the, the game between Balamini United and Dungannon. Both, of the Both sets of players are back on the pitch, Lauren. I think I'm going to make a change. Mihal Glynn is coming on for Aaron Donnelly. They will surely end that hard run at home. But it's been the 10 men of Lorne that claim all three points. A bit of a smash and grab from Tiernan Lynch's side. They found themselves a goal down and a man down. But Joe Thompson popped up with two in the final quarter of this encounter. Four teams at the bottom, 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th place, separated by one point. That is going to be some battle. Obviously, Linfield still lead the way, eight points ahead of both Cliftonville and Lauren at the top of the table. Crusaders and Glentorn losing a little bit of ground today themselves, but it is shipping up to be a really entertaining season at both ends of the table moving forward. We've got plenty of live football coming up for you over the next week or so on Tuesday night. The Northern Ireland women's side return to action at Seaview. They take on Hungary, the second game in that double header after losing 3 2 away last night. Highlights of that game available on the BBC Sport Northern Ireland website. Of course, we'll have rugby tomorrow. Ulster taking on the Bulls of South Africa. Coverage gets underway on BBC Two at 20 to 5 for that one. And we're back with more Irish League football on Friday night. Second against third, level on points. Lauren taking on Cliftonville after the champions were pushed all the way this evening in Uri. Thank you very much for joining us. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.